If you have watched my channel for any amount of time or you follow me on Instagram, you know I am not a minimalist. I mean, look at this or all of this. So if you're interested in becoming a minimalist or you already are and you just wanna know what to be wearing this summer, stay tuned. So the entire wardrobe is 10 pieces, that's it. We're gonna run through it. I'm gonna show you the tops, then the bottoms, then we'll talk footwear. So up first, one of the most versatile things, simple basic tees, white tee, heather gray tees, like a black would work fine if that's a little bit more your style aesthetic. But these are awesome because you can wear them on their own. You can wear them with jeans or shorts. You can wear them under something else as a layering piece. Keeping versatility in mind with everything is going to always be your best bet. The next top that I would recommend is a short sleeve button up. This is a light blue, very slightly striped. This is not a super bold shirt, but it's probably the boldest piece in the entire wardrobe. And again, you could wear this as its own shirt. You could wear it layered over a t-shirt. You could do all kinds of different things with it. And I prefer a short sleeve button up like this over a polo. That's just my personal preference. Next up in the tops, we have a tank top. Again, simple heather gray, super neutral, versatile color. But I like to wear this on a really warm day when I'm going near the water, if it's the pool, the beach, whatever, because I can wear this on its own or I can layer it. Versatility. And finally, for our tops, we've got a classic white Oxford button down. This is something I've been talking about a lot recently. I did a whole video I hope you guys saw. I will link it right above. But again, for the times you need to be a little bit more dressy, this works perfectly. You can wear it with your jeans, you can wear it with chino shorts, all kinds of different outfits, and you can layer it over the top of a t-shirt or the tank top. Now in terms of our bottoms, we wanna start with a bathing suit. This kind of simple, very subtly floral pair from Caton is one of my favorites. This is a type of short that I could wear with a t-shirt or with a button down shirt and it would work completely fine at the pool but then also when I go to lunch or dinner or whatever afterwards. So keep that in mind when you're shopping for a bathing suit. Get something that can also double as a pair of shorts in your outfits. Next up in the bottoms category is a pair of chino shorts. These are a khaki color, they're from Uniqlo. They're like a moisture wicking material. I think they're actually golf shorts, technically, but you can still style them with any of these tops. If you wanna be a little bit more dressy, throw them on with the button-up shirt. If you wanna be super casual, you could wear them with the tank top or just a basic t-shirt. Moving on, the next pair is this gray pair of slim fit chino pants. They're from 5'4". They're for the times when I do wanna be a tiny bit more dressy and I'm going out into the evening. Personally, I don't love wearing shorts at nighttime. It's just not really my style vibe, but a pair of chino pants like this are about as dressy as I'm ever gonna to need to get during the summertime. And finally, our last pair of bottoms. I've got these dark blue selvage jeans from Lucky Brand. Now, most people when they think summer, they don't think a dark pair of denim, but personally, I just feel a lot more stylish and especially nowadays with Lucky Brand and Uniqlo and all these different brands coming out with the stretch selvage. It's very lightweight and comfortable. Plus a darker pair is just gonna seem a little bit more dressy, seem a little bit more edgy, which I always appreciate, but you can still style these extremely casually if you're going out for just something light and fun and easy. For the footwear, just two different pairs up first is a minimal white sneaker. I'm sure you're not that surprised to see these on the list, but when you've got something that can be worn with shorts, with pants, with a suit, with anything that you've got in your closet and look good, you really can't go wrong. These are from Koyo. I just really love the all leather aesthetic because they're comfortable and they're very, very versatile. Finally, our last pair of shoes, a pair of loafers. I have gotten a lot more into tasseled and penny loafers recently just because they're kind of a really nice, casual version of a dress shoe. It's easy to slide on with no socks or a no-show sock when you're really trying to dress things up a little bit, but you could style these with literally anything else, maybe not the bathing suit, but you could wear them with the shorts or the chino pants and create a ton of different looks. 
I prefer a brown pair like this over a black pair just because the versatility is higher with brown or a gray than it will be with black. 10 pieces to complete a minimal summer wardrobe. I'm gonna just go through and throw together a bunch of different outfits really quick. I'm just gonna speed through them so you guys can see how interchangeable everything is. One of my favorite things about minimalistic outfits like this is it allows you to start getting creative with the pieces that you have in order to get really personal with your outfit. So whether it's cuffing your sleeves a couple times or tucking your shirt in a specific way that makes you feel a little bit differently, that is an easy way for you to really personalize your look and leave the house feeling a lot more stylish and just feeling a lot more like yourself because you added those very personal touches. And there you go guys, a 10 piece minimalist summer wardrobe. Super versatile, super functional, kind of covers everything. If there's anything that you feel like I added that you wouldn't or that you would add that I didn't, let me know down in the comments. Super curious to hear your thoughts. If you enjoyed today's video, hit that thumbs up. Subscribe if you're not already. Tell a friend about the channel and I'll see you on the next one.